You know, you see, this is what happens when you get paid for selling someone's shit. Okay? This is, this is when you get paid convincing people that, oh, you got to have one of these. This is the neatest thing since sliced bread. And then he goes on to say, well, you know, you need this direct drive because, you know, when you're, when you're using a band, you know, there's always that squishiness there. First off, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Those belts have zero stretch. Zero. Then he's talking about changing gear ratios. If you change your gear ratio up, you lose sensitivity. If you change your gear ratio down... Listen, on my Elite, it's simply a turn of a dial, buddy. I have no idea what you are talking about. I can adjust mine with the flip of a switch. From 1,008 all the way down to, I think, 90 is the maximum minimum. The maximum minimal. Uh, I remember this guy before he was doing anything. Before he even knew what a fucking sim, sim, piece of sim gear was. And I have watched him slowly but surely fall into the fanatic trap of free shit for, you know, free shit for advertising. Fucking advertising. That's what it is. It's advertising. I didn't hear him mention a single thing about the wobbling of the shaft. I don't know how Fnatic keeps that shit off of there, okay? Probably by... Well, first off, when I go in and I want to see, well, what's happening with the DD now? How many people have had their DD Pro wear out now? And what do I get? Videos that are nine months old. Nine months old. No, I want to know how the DD has done this year. I want one from yesterday. You're telling me no one out of the billions of uploads did anything about his DD Pro? Uh, the only guy I saw who was getting free fanatic shit said, well, you know, there's no such thing as any is perfect. Uh, there's a certain limitation you can accept. No, listen, my fucking elite doesn't wobble. And if it wobbled even the slightest little bit, I would consider that a, a defect. This guy's trying to convince you that these wobbles that are showing up in these DDs is a, oh, a certain percentage is acceptable. Oh, fuck. See, this is the problem. When you have skin in the game, you cannot believe a single thing they say. And once they start down that path, it's the dark path, okay? And there's no coming back from it. They don't get any better after that. They find out they can make a living by selling other people's shit that they get for free, and they fall in love with that, and that's it. That's it. I haven't heard a single bad thing that he's talked about. It's all this, oh, this is this, and look how cool this is, and look how awesome this is, and how cool this is. No, no, there are serious mechanical problems that are showing up with the DD Pro, and how Fnatic keeps that shit off, I don't know. He hadn't talked about the plastic steering wheel. The steering wheel is plastic. He talked about how amazing it felt. It's fucking plastic, okay? There are videos of people where they're showing that their paint on their buttons is already wearing off. None of that. See, so you know when it's all positives and no cons that you just can't trust anything they say now. It just totally ruins their, you know, I'm unsubscribing right now because of that. I subbed to the guy's page when he got started because I watched his journey, but now he's fallen into that whole shit and I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm going to uns unsub from his page. Because he's doing a disservice to people that are thinking about spending a lot of money. Okay? For this crap right here. Before I told you to get a DD Pro, I tell you to go get a G29. And especially if you're a beginner and you haven't played before, get that. You'll have plenty of fun. It'll be cheaper. Once you wear that out and you decide that you're going to go ahead and stay in sim racing, then you can start thinking about moving up. But this dick's trying to get you to spend $1,200 plus. Dollars. Well, you know, if you want the 8, it's about half again as much as the unit. Wait a minute, what? What? They have a power supply? And that's, the, it's, that's like having, you know, DRM on your fucking Blu-ray. Well, you can't unlock the power of the unit you bought unless you buy this special power unit. Fuck, Fanatec sucks. They've just gotten, 
You know, this is a nickel and dime system. The DD Pro is a nickel and dime system. It is designed to be a nickel and dime system. It's never going to be anything but that.